Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today we want to talk about um, body manifestation and body weight. So, um, I've been struggling myself a lot with weight in my life in general. I, I always had like intense shift in my weight. I realize how much food is connected with deeper and deeper issues in ourselves. Uh, eating is one of the first like primordial instincts that we have and is uh, strongly connected with the root chakras. So people that has an imbalanced root, root chakra, uh, often they have issues with food. Uh, either eat too much or too little. The way that society trains us about food is highly dysfunctional. Um, innate your animal does not eat regularly. They don't eat like uh, 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Uh, animals eat when there is the possibility to eat. And for animal it's normal to have like even days of fasting. It depends if they've been lucky hunting or if it's winter there is no fruit in the trees and whatever. Uh, we detach ourselves from animals and we um, started to behave with food in a way that is not totally healthy. It's not coincidence if in many religion all over uh, the world uh, they they talk about fasting they talk about fasting because um, it's actually something that is really good for many many things I hope you guys can go and do some research about it um, so what happened is that um, when we have uh, repressed emotion or we feel lack in something we tend to overeat we tend to overeat because maybe we are lack in love and this is something that was happening to me every time i was feeling not loved in general or without support or alone or whatever i was um i was exceeding with the amount of food because i was trying to fill up this gap this void uh this need of love or need of attention sometimes i was doing it just because i was bored um, at that time, uh, it was just a change of event. When you start to eat and overeat, the stomach start to uh, to like expand, and then you need always more and more food food to make you feel full. So, uh, in every issue that people has about weight there is always something psychological emotional uh sometimes it's just bored people are just bored and sometimes there is just um wrong beliefs like the fact that we need to eat three times a day in many religions as i said before or gandhi or anyway in all the world in islam in christianity too i mean shaman as well uh, they talk about fasting because when you fast is first of all a great method of detoxing because you don't have the, the the stomach doesn't have anything to do so you have more energy available to yourself and it can start to use that energy for other things which can also be that your metabolism get a little bit faster because you're not using that energy to digest but you're using that energy to actually consume something that you have in storage <laughs> in your body so when i started to use fasting as a tool i realized how much it really balanced me out it balanced me out because i realized that i did not need all the amount of food that i was eating before i realized that i could go even like three days without food and i was perfectly fine actually i was feeling more active my skin was more shiny and the stomach reduce and you start to um, to feel less hungry uh, and you get full way easier 
so if before you needed two plates of pasta to get full after you, like one day of fasting or two days of fasting in a week you will start to realize that you get full even with one apple uh, I recommend people to do some research about this because I don't know how to pronounce it in English circadian rhythm circadian rhythm circoli circadiani that is called in Italian anyway um, it's is like a biological clock that we have inside us and in which we are supposed to eat uh, to have the best performance and to achieve a good state of health and I recommend if people are not able to do the total dry fasting for one two three days uh, to do the intermittent one which is this one which full of the circle circadian uh, and people basically eat from 12 o'clock until 6 uh, and then the rest of the day and the night they fast during the fasting is allowed only water in the time from 12 to 6 you can eat whatever you like this allows your stomach to have more than 16 hour fasting and this the the stomach will shrink and also you will use a lot of uh, stored fat around you so i suggest that to everyone i'm not a doctor so uh, i'm not telling you you have to do this i'm trying telling you try it there is I'm not the first person who says those things, so... Many religion and doctors talk about fasting and how beneficial it is for the health. Uh, and, apart from this, um, to manifest the body of your dreams, it's always about that unconditional love. If you hate the body that you are in, how would you th even think that the body is going to respond to you in a positive way? There is no way. If you are not happy in the body that you are in, your body will feel it. If the energy that you put out is, oh my god, my body, I'm awful, I need to do this, I need to do that, I'm going to lose weight and panic the body won't, won't respond to you in a nice way what you have to do is love in what you have because you see in it the result that you want a fit body of the body of your dream is already in you is already in your body just is about to bring it out so if you energetically wise give this feeling of oh my god i'm disgusted by my body the body will show you more this disgustness <laughs> like you cannot just throw hate and bad energy to your vessel because your vessel is a part of you so i was repeating myself mantra in the morning about i am full i was stating that i was full i did not need food with all the beautiful jelly fat that i had around uh, i was simply recognizing that i did not need food and you know this is just the obvious this is obvious you know uh, and I was doing fasting I was eating healthy and simply being happy because the body that I want is already in me I'm just doing the action to bring it out so there was not frustration anymore and the feeling that I was giving to my body was actually a, a feeling of somebody that really loves it and care for it so my body answered me in a good way i wasn't hungry i started to lose weight and the more you focus your attention on losing weight the more you stress out for those things you won't lose weight so step one Meditate. Devote some time each day to meditate on the real reason why you are overeating. 
face, observe and analyze emotion, feelings and thought that may emerge while you are eating. Without judging, just observe with love. This is really important, guys. We are not here to judge ourselves. We are here to help ourselves. And then positive affirmation, guys, in the morning is very important. I am full. I'm taking action to help my relationship with food and my body. I am patient and loving towards my body changing process. It won't happen overnight, but I'm positive. I feel active and agile. I am radiating love for myself and the situation. This is really important, guys. We need to repeat positive affirmation in the morning. Step three is make it fun. Don't stress out. You cannot expect quick result, so you might as well take it as a journey to find your balance. Keep busy by researching about intermittent fasting, the circadian rhythm or cycles. Plan some trial days when you have your day off of fasting. Try to approach fasting. And then research healthy recipes to cook, go for walks, exercise, keep a diary to write feelings that might emerge during those processes of fasting. Another important concept is that you cannot compare yourself to others, never. You have your own natural beauty, which is meant to be different from all the rest of the people. Your beauty is meant to attract specific people and not all the people. You cannot be like what everyone. This concept is sick, is a mental issue. Our beauty doesn't have to conform to expectation or the, or the trendy of, of the year. Uh, you radiate your light, you have self-love for yourself, for your body, and all the things that makes your body unique. In this way, you will attract exactly that. You will attract people that see your beauty, that see your uniqueness, and love you for what you are. So, thank you for watching, guys. If you have any questions, let me know, and see you next time. Like and subscribe.